What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here and today I'm going to be showing you how to use our baseball hat mock-up templates. Now these are kind of expensive for us when it comes to mock-up templates like $30 but this is for 12 files and I'm kind of going in the like on the assumption that you're probably only going to be buying half of these so the price will most likely be oops if I get rid of all the or uncheck all of these about $21 which I think is a very reasonable for six mock-up templates um, or if you just do the front and back $15 very reasonable um, so that would be the curved front and the curved back uh, curved brim that is but we can see we have a flat brim option too that's why there's 12 files so you have six curved six flat brim uh, but if you wanted to do just the flat brim front and back, you just have to click the option. Um, select from baseball hat mock-up individual. Look for the picture of the flat right here. There you go. And then you can do the same for the back. Like that. And that's how you would get the flat. You can see still the same price of $15. Um, or if you just want one, $13.50. So not bad. But... If you download them and open them in Photoshop, first of all, they all come individual zip files. You have to unzip that, so double click to unzip it. So this zip, double click, you get this file. Open that in Photoshop and you get something like this. So I'm working with the curved hat front right. And there's a lot of customizations to this hat, uh, which makes it worth it because you only have to purchase this hat mock-up. You don't have to purchase a bunch of others with different options. So, um, or you have to purchase the curved brim and the flat brim. Those are the only stipulations. But first of all, we have a group of logos is the first thing you'll notice. They're colored in this like tealish color, indigo, whatever you call it. Um, and those are the logos that are on the front and the sides. Now, this angle, you can only see this side, but there is, say on the front view, there's a third logo on the other side. So those are your customization options. We also have a custom layer on the front of the hat for a design and on the brim. And then we also have a smart object here on the inside tape and then these labels, which are optional, by the way. So this is the standard setup. We all, uh, you can see that this is a, a normal hat, so the normal folder. And you might be asking, what's, the, what's not normal? Well, not normal is the mesh snapback, which is like your trucker hat. So this is another option, but it's kind of on its own folder. And you'll see why in a second. But if we go back to the normal folder, open that up, you can see we have a few options. So first of all, we have a seamless panel folder, which is unchecked at the moment. So if we open this up, you can see it just has lighting. It has a smart object which is the design element and a color. If I make this visible, you can see it's, it doesn't change much, but if I hide these logos, you can see the difference. It's very subtle, but, or maybe not, but it's the seam going down the middle. Uh, you can see with the seamless panel, there's no seam. With it, there is a seam and these two eyelets. Um, so that's just an option to change the front. I, on our last baseball template, we had a lot of comments about having a hat without a seam. So we've incorporated it into these new ones. If we go to the colors folder, which is the next interesting folder, we have like the lighting, which you can ignore. Um, then the brim design smart object, which you can open up and add your design. And then the front design object, which you can open up and add your design. Um, but then the colors, let me bring back the logos. The colors are just all the colors for basically the front elements. And what I mean by that is there's a folder for the back so if I hide that, you can see this is what we consider the front elements. So the base of the hat, um, the sweatband, which you can't really see in the front. Inside, you can't really see that either. Um, but then the front and the brim and the eyelets, those are the important ones. Um, so you can change the colors of that. So if we go for, let's say we want a, a black hat and we want blue eyelets in a blue brim, we can do something like that. Pretty easy to change the colors. Um, but you'll notice we don't have the back. We, don't, we didn't change the color of the back at all. So let's go to the back and make it visible and talk about those options. 
So the three back options are the fitted back, as you can see, strap back with the metal kind of buckle, and then the snap back, which is your traditional snap back buckle. So these three can be customized. Now all the smart objects should be linked together. So say you make a change to, to the labels in here, they will update for all of them. So you can see your changes um, on all of these designs. You can also hide the labels. So if you come in here and just hide the label, you can have a nice simple hat. You don't need the labels. And that's the same thing for all these back options, as you can see. And as you can see, the back options have all their own uh, color options in here. And then for the label smart objects, if you have those checked, they're in the red labels folder. Um, so this one, you can only see this guy, which Let's open that up and change this to some text or something. Let's get black and just be like tutorial. I'm going to press command A and align this in the middle both ways. Save it. So tutorial text and we can see what that looks like on the snapback as well. So everything updates. Um, you do want to make sure you change if you change the base color to black come into the snapback and make sure you change the base color to black as well because if you don't you'll have like a weird edge that you might not notice but if you save it it's going to look wonky and you're going to be able to t uh, see the separated parts which is annoying um, so make sure you change that but everything else is pretty standard change the color pick the options you want all that stuff, add your designs, they'll update for all of them um, kind of thing. Now, the other interesting thing we have going on is on the logo smart objects, first of all, they have some job shadow to give some three dimension, but if you open them up, they have some uh, design texture from our patch builder um, V2. So we have a patch builder that you can add your logo to and creates like embroidery styling to it. So I've included four styles already in here and they're in these groups. So we have style four, which is my favorite. That's the one that's the default. We have style three, style two, and style one, which is a lot, which is very simple. But when you add your logo, you can just add it to any of these folders and it will add that effect. So if I wanna use our normal TFC logo. I picked a small one, but let's make that bigger. Uh, let's right click rasterize. I can come in and drag that into style four, hide the other logo. Let's hide that bottom layer, save it, come back and you can see it adds that effect to the logo here. And if I zoom in a bit, you can just see how that looks. It just gives it a little bit of three dimension, makes it look just a little bit more realistic and nice, um, which is what we're going for. Um, and then if you're like, ah, I don't like that, I wanna do, I wanna see this on a snapback, just come over and all the logos and everything translate on over. And then the mesh snapback, all the color elements are obviously in the same group because there's no front and back distinction. So we could come in and actually let's make this one blue. How about uh, blue mesh, maybe black strap, black brim, something like that. And you get a cool hat. Um, so it's pretty simple to use guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Obviously a lot of options here so you can only just buy one template and have essentially four or five templates um, at your disposal to customize with all the different options. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. I know we didn't design any crazy hats, but I hope you get a better understanding of how to use these templates. If you have any, any questions, feel free to reach out on our website or our social media. We don't really check the comments too often, so you might be missing out by leaving a comment. So reach out to us on other platforms, um, Instagram, Twitter, follow us, send us a message and we'll get back to you. But I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe and peace.